Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide. Mohammed Niaz with you. In this video, I'm going to show to you how you can run a web application in an IS server running on a Windows server. So we are going to see how we can uh, deploy a web application that you developed in uh, Visual Studio or you can uh, develop it or you can download it even from the GitHub link that I'm going to provide in the description. So once you have a web application, we can prepare an IIS server, then we can deploy it. So we will test HTTP, how we can deploy and access it over HTTP and also over HTTPS. So for HTTPS, we need a certificate. So we will generate a self-signed SSL certificate and we will see how we can bind it and how we can make it working. You can also do the same by purchasing a certificate, but I prefer to do it in uh, a self-signed certificate because if you're practicing this or if you are uh, doing this for a development or a test environment then of course this is going to be the best choice because you don't need to pay for it until uh, you go for the production so let's see how to do it i have logged in to my windows server the first step i'm going to do is to add the is role so this server is not joined to the domain uh, if you want you can join to the domain controller but it's just a work group and the server name is web server so let's go to the manage and add the IIS role into the server and for that complete the wizard. The only job I need to do is during the server role option I have to select web server IIS then click next and complete the wizard. Now the wizard has completed the installation. So let's go to the IIS and from there we can see Internet Information Service Manager. So this is where the uh, website configurations uh, you will see. So if you expand the sites, you can see there is a default website and simply click on the browse that will open the default website. So this is the default website uh, available uh, in the IIS Manager. So this is how we can test our installation uh, is correct or not. So next I switch to a Windows PC. Here I have uh, Visual Studio 2022. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a web application here with the help of Visual Studio. I'm not going to develop one here because there are so many uh, templates available in Visual Studio. So it's quite easy for me to generate uh, one sample project from it. So you can see I'm going to select ASP.NET Core Web API. So if you want any other uh, project to try you can do it but this is going to be a web api uh, application so i'm going to select asp.net core web api then click next then give a meaningful name for the project if you don't want to download the visual studio and try this then you can see a link in the description that will take you to the github uh, link you can uh, simply download this from the github and you can also practice the same uh, in your ias uh, uh, Windows Server. So you can see the framework I'm going to choose is .NET 6.0 so I have to install some supporting bundle uh, for this application in the IS server that we will take care in the next step. So let's click on the create button that will create our template. Now a web API application uh, is ready in Visual Studio. We can just uh, run this web API in the Visual Studio locally by clicking on the green button on the middle top uh, it's web API is my application name that's why it's showing web API so it will open up with a swagger UI uh, where we can test our uh, web services uh, so there will be URLs and models on it those are uh, for testing purpose so if you are a developer and you are making changes then you can uh, develop your uh, get post uh, request at this uh, swagger UI so I'm just uh, testing, uh, trying to run uh, some weather uh, details and that is what this web API does. So you can see that it is responding, the response body have some uh, responses. So our aim is to deploy this web service uh, into an IIS server so that it can be available uh, in, the, in the network then other people can use it and access it. So we are going to see how we can do this. So we are going to publish this web application. This is what we do in Visual Studio when we complete the project or we want to test the project outside the Visual Studio. 
we can publish it you can see there are different targets available we will uh, go through one by one in the coming videos but in this video we are going to use a folder uh, so point the folder location and this is the default location which will uh, create all the uh, output in the same folder where the project is running so the final click on the publish will publish all the application uh, files uh, required to upload into the IS server in the folder so you can open the folder here and these are the content for our web application now we need to take this to our IIS server and we need to prepare our IIS server to run this application. So I switch to the IIS server and I'm going to paste the web uh, files that we copied. So you can paste anywhere and point it but I'm pasting it in the uh, right folder where the default web application uh, was running. So the files are now available in the IIS server. Now the next step is to make this IS server ready to run this application. So you know that this application is a .NET 6 application. So we need to install a supporting bundle for hosting this application. So that is what we are going to do next. So search for a .NET Core hosting bundle installer. Uh, that will uh, directly take you to the uh, .NET Microsoft page. And you can see that it is a .NET uh, 6 runtime windows hosting bundle installer so we need to install this in the is server then our uh, web server will be ready to run our dotnet 6 web service application so now the is uh, server is ready let's go to the is manager and from there we are going to add our website for that uh, click on the uh, sites then from the sites you will see add website option then you have to give a site name i'm going to give the same host name the host name of this server is a web server so i will give the same name then i need to point the physical path where the web application files it's in the www root file then uh, i'm gonna choose http and i will change the port from 80 to 8080 uh, because the default website in this uh, machine is also using port 80 so it will give some error but it's okay i can change the default website port to something else and i can use port 80 but anyway this is how you can do it and the host name also i give now our web server it will be running in uh, 8080 port in the IAS server now the server is ready and running but our application is a web service actually it is not a, a website so it will not give any information uh, when you open simply the URL so I'm going to make a get request so the default get request uh, which comes with this template is uh, you know the web server is the host name and 8080 is the port then slash weather forecast that will return the informations so now you can see uh, the web service is running it's a web api application so the web service is running that is why we get this answer so http is okay http on port 8080 is okay the next step is to make this a secure web application uh, by using HTTPS. So let's see how to do this. From the IIS manager, uh, if you go to the web server page, you will see server certificates and there you can create a self-signed certificate. So create a self-signed certificate, give a meaningful name for the certificate. This is just you to identify the certificate later then i prefer personal so this certificate will be stored in the personal folder that's it then click ok now we have a certificate ready now we need to bind this certificate to the our web application so let's go to the web server then you will see bindings then from the bindings uh, it's running in the http so i'm not going to change anything here what i will do i will uh, simply 
uh, edit the binding and add a new binding so this site will be accessible in both http and https so keep all unassigned then port 443 then for the host name it's web server then down you will see ssl certificate there you have to select web server then click ok then close it now we have https ready so click https then full colon then run yeah because we don't need to use the port number 8080 so let's change it then let's try again now you can see that it is a secure we have a certificate and certificate is showing valid so this is a self-signed certificate so this self-signed certificate now it is showing valid because the certificate is available inside this system so if you want the client machines who are going to use this web service to show that this url is a trusted and there is a certificate then you have to store those certificate manually to those pieces so let's see how to do that so to demonstrate to you the access from a client pc i switch to a windows pc as you know our is server is a work group it is not joined to the domain so in order to resolve the uh, web server that we prepared uh, we need to add this uh, web service ip address and domain name as a local entry in the host file so that is what i'm doing here so if you type web server from this pc uh, as we already have the ip address in the local host file uh, it will it will resolve it that's it now before you install the certificate if you try to access uh, this server from other pc the url from other pc you will see that uh, it show you a certificate warning because we have a ssl certificate but this certificate is not trusted by uh, some of the trusted root certificates that have locally available in this PC like uh, uh, Digicert or any other uh, certificate provider. So what we need to do is we need to install this certificate inside this PC personal store so that uh, uh, next time when we browse the, the browser will identify okay this certificate is available in my local store so I can trust it. So let's see how to do that. I have opened the same URL in Edge. Then when I click on the certificate error, it pop up the certificate information where I can export to a file. Thereby I can save this uh, certificate. Then I want to install this certificate into my local PC certificate store. For that, just click on the install, then open it. Then click select local machine, then click next then place all the certificate in the following store then you can choose a trusted root certificate authorities then click ok then complete the wizard so next time when you try to browse this website it will show it will not show you any kind of certificate errors let's see so now you can see i'm going to visit the same web server page uh, from other pc uh, where the certificate is installed and it is showing trusted because the certificate is available that's all thank you for watching this video and for more videos subscribe to my youtube channel